Introducing your co-hosts, Cheddar Mike, Lil Mattress, and Dave. Three piece in the whiskey. Three piece in the whiskey. Scoop of gravy on the news or you missed it. We got you covered. Three piece in the whiskey. Three piece in the whiskey. Three piece in the whiskey. Scoop of gravy on the news or you missed it. We got you covered. Introduce yourself, gentlemen. Hey, what's up, y'all? Cheddar Mike over here at Michael John. You can find me on Twitter. What's up to all the Steamians out there? Steam it. You know what's going on. <laughs> I like the. <laughs> we like to steam it. Uh, yes. Lil Mattress. Follow me at Lil Mattress. L I L M A T T R E S S. Call the hotline 203 941 0045. Leave a message. You want to shout out? You want to talk some shit? You want to tell mm. us how good we're doing? You want to tell us how bad we're doing? You see a cute girl out and you're like, oh my God, those are fun boots. Go ahead. Leave the fucking message. Let's go. Yeah, we can help yeah. you get your number. Um, I'm the Rideshare Idiot. You can find me at uh, the Rideshare Idiot, justthedriver.com. Filling in for Dave. I am the Boogeyman. Um, yeah, so how are we all doing today? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Did everybody give up anything for Lent? I don't have fake uh, imaginary friends. No, No, you didn't give up? Mm, oh, okay. Did nothing. You give up anything for Lent? I'm going to give up the well, idea. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. I'm going to give up to all, to all my Steamians out there. I'm going to give up. The failing fiat system and grow into the crypto space. Let's get it out there. Bling, 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 bling. That's what I'm hoping. How about yourself? Do you give up anything? I'm ready to just give up caring, I think. Join the rest of the world and just It is odd, though, when I run into someone like my brother, met up with him. Like your brother, brother? or Friday, yeah. Like you, my brother, or like my brother? No, that brother. Blood. Oh, okay. Met up with him, and like it was a Friday, and we were about to get dinner. He's like, yeah, but I can't get anything with me. And just, you're like, did Man, that you, thing. You guys still exist. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's real. The force is strong with him, though, right? You got to admire that. There's, yeah, there's people out there, what, they, a special day they dedicate at least. Uh, every, yeah, I think I think everywhere, every should in some way do something. You yeah, know, totally. I mean, Once in a while. It doesn't have to be this time of year, right? You know, mm -hmm. some people choose the new year, the new year. Some people say the cat. lack of uh, me, actually, because they, they, they think right. me causes Preach. cancer. Preach. I saw so. this interesting milk thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day we'll talk about the, uh, the milk thing. I like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, along those lines. Um, but interesting week nonetheless. I'm happy Easter. Anything? Uh, maybe we'll close with interesting Easter facts. Maybe not right now. Okay. So you know what I'm saying. Tune in close later. With the East. Or some if bunny we miss jokes. something, you know, <laughs> if we if we miss something, if you know some interesting Easter facts, give us a call 203-941-0045. Um, but happy yes. Easter. What else was in? Um, we had Lent. Um, Final Four. Uh, yeah, I followed that. Uh, last Lent, I think. Uh, that, that Michigan. Team lost. Yeah, Michigan beat. Michigan um, made it, and uh, who who won between Villanova and Kansas? Villanova. Yeah, Woo. Yeah, yeah. I saw the first I think half. Villanova is nice. So Villanova has been nice for Hot. years, though. East yeah. Coast so basketball. That's one of the things where, like, when I get caught, you know, like where I will get caught up in yeah. the hype is in yeah, basketball. Totally. You know, I'm just like, nah, East Coast basketball. That was a, that was but, a really good game. Villanova came out really quick. First 18 uh, shots for all three pointers. Yeah. Wow. Boom, 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 oh, killing it. You know what though? Speaking of, um, I mean, Wildcats. are we are we deflecting? But um, uh, our very own uh, UConn women. Mm. They shot lost. out. Oh shit! Still a shout out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out. Yeah, I mean, no, that's true. You know, but yeah, taking down my Notre Dame, Notre Dame again. You know. Mm. Um, yep. So I but, didn't see it, but I heard it was like amazing. I yeah. Well, I mean, anytime game. they lose, I mean, you know, they're like games are intense. Yeah. 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 Now, what do you think that it is? Do you think it's the coach, the system? Like, how does that? You know, how, how do they have something that works so well? You know, because we were talking about before about you know maybe you know paying athletes the prestige, and stuff. The money. And, okay, right. A little pride to say yeah. that you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no interesting program nonetheless. You, you know, they, they can't people, win every year, but, yeah, yeah, you know, but so. I think a lot of people there, they obviously are doing something right. But a lot of people go there off jump, just off the legacy. Like you. Want yeah, to exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, part of something listen, great. Yeah, there, absolutely. Probably in one of my four years of playing, we're going to win a championship. Yeah. Like that's yep. crazy odds. So I think a lot of people go there off the legacy alone. But and, of course, they're doing something that we don't know about as well. You know, because they're winning so far. Bowling. That's what bowling. they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing their bowling. Crazy. They fly high. No, no lie. lie. <laughs> and you know this. So what's going on now, Dave? What's, what's, what's going on over here? We got some MAGA issues or no? No, we got no, no. We got no MAGA now? I've got no you problem. You know what MAGA no. issue? Uh, not an issue. <laughs> it's just a thing. Is uh, Dennis Rodman posted a picture of um, 
What's his name? The guy that he fucking the North Korean guy. Yeah, uh, Kim Jong. Uh, yeah. He posted a picture of him with a fucking mega hat. That's on the I was watching a bunch of die. Rodman uh, yeah. highlights on YouTube yesterday. I don't know why. And now you mentioned. I think that because that... he's probably back in the news. He's circulating. Psyops. You know, circulate shout out to our him friend in. Algorithm. You know what I'm saying? He's mm, out there. You know what I'm saying? You know, yes. Perpetrating. You know, infiltrating. Phones listening to you. I was talking you about know? Dennis, and they put YouTube Dennis Rodman. Yo, Dennis Rodman saving the world by like being friends with Kim Jong Un. How is that not Space Jam too? How was that now Space Jam? Yeah, too? but that's Is like that that's like Space to... Jam, Star Trek, Star Wars two type. It's uh, like I don't know about Space Jam's two, you know. Jordan's mm. not coming back. Who? I said Jordan's not coming back for another one. Man, Jordan should have never came back to the Wizards when he did. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if you ever no, heard the story. Did, no, he did the, uh, uh, I mean, he did go to the Bulls first, but yeah. yeah. It comes down, I guess, when when well, the, when to let it go. Well, that's that's the thing. The Bulls, okay, you're, you're going to question it, but the Wizards, like, you shouldn't have done it. No. Yeah. You know? I think it was an ownership thing that was interesting. He was the president. And the, yeah. I, I, he was part I was, owner, yeah, yeah. I saw but a also, documentary on that last night, too. Have you ever seen the crazy shit where they talk about why he went to play baseball and it's like it's not for the his, reasons that Was it childhood said. dreams or no? Well, no, a lot of it, they were talking about gambling yeah, debts yeah, and shit. Oh. Yeah, man, there's, there's, yeah, a, so there's a rabbit hole to go down with that He's issue. like, yeah, yeah, and if I hit a home run ball, that's worth money, and then I... Well, no, no, no just <laughs> old money, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, I got you. Know, you. To be away, you know, be away, let the game, you know. Uh -huh. us, but yeah, so that's it, you know. Let it breathe. It's so it's, it gets scary though, because anything there's, it doesn't matter if there's a, I think we said it before, if there's a good story, there's always something. You know what I'm saying? Like we always, something, and, something then cooking. Cooking. and then what? And then what? Three piece. Yeah, you know. Um, it's but it's interesting now that LeBron is breaking a bunch of his records. The breezy. And you think, obviously LeBron's fucking amazing. Yeah. But you think, all right, how many years did Jordan take off? If he had played those years, the average yeah, well, would have been extended. But I think LeBron's going to play until he's like 40. I also think, yeah. though, and in LeBron's era, there's more talented players than it was Jordan's kind of now. I, I don't know. Like, I understand Jordan, Jordan beginning time, like, he was killing all these old dudes. And then all the greats came in with him. Like, you know, Magic obviously came in with him and all them. But when Jordan came in as a rookie, all the old dudes, it's kind of like uh, it was easy for him to shine. Like, when LeBron came in, he came in already when the game was – different yeah you know what i'm saying like the game was already upgraded the, yeah the game yeah, yeah game changed a couple times michael jordan i believe had something to do with it i wouldn't slight some of the people he came in against but what i would say definitely i think um and maybe with what we're saying is the way that he changed it and when i say that he changed it there have been six foot six guards you know what i'm saying like it's not yeah, nothing he was new. the first but his athleticism you know what i'm saying yeah. to be yeah. able to be that big and not have to be because if yeah. he was a forward he'd have got knocked around you know what i'm saying he'd be nothing he'd be yeah. like you know, he'd be lucky if he was ac green yeah. right you guys remember yeah. ac yeah. green yeah. 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 you know so i think having so having though that particular skill set that attribute let him to be kind of what he was and i think a lot along lebron's case and i think not to slight kobe but it's going to end up happening because i think in the big picture Kobe's really not as great. Kobe's really, really good, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. again, you know, way better. You know, I'm just saying, in perspective, Kobe might not be top ten. But to my point, though, uh, LeBron being a beast, a physical specimen, he could, yeah. the way to handle, it, he could really play any position. Yeah. You know. Um, yep. So, but saying when people getting better, like it was the it was the Jordan do or maybe pushing the button, the accelerator, you know what I'm saying? The I same, think the talent like, and the speed was much different. Right, I think it's like a graphics processor on a computer, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like the Intel yeah, chip yeah, gets, because, you know? Yeah, yeah, so that's, you're watching all these old games. Because you can't take too much away from, you Because know? yep. you're going to hear a lot, the hate's going to be coming out really strong, even stronger now, like the debate, like, you know, like, you know, because we got to dub somebody the greatest of all time, you mm. know what I'm saying? We just can't have like a Mount Rushmore of like, you know, uh, a good sports talent, you know what I'm saying? Good mental relief, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple of things too where in Jordan's era, the physicality was much bigger. And like that's you proof. could fuck yeah. someone up in yeah. the paint. Like yeah. now, every time that's down true. down the uh, court, there's usually a foul, something like that. So it is a little bit of a lighter game. But I mean, regardless, LeBron's fucking amazing, you know. Yeah. But real quick, if we could have a moment of silence for Grant Hill's ankle, because he was supposed to be one of the best. Uh, so let's just give a quick man. moment of silence for Grant Hill's ankle. Hey, one of the, hold, hold one on one on of the greatest second. commentators now, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that other ankle is being inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay, oh. <laughs> so I know I feel you. Like Grant yeah. Hill was like you almost want to be like, but like you almost think he's still a rookie because exactly. like it seemed like he yeah. was always injured like from his first year on. And that but, girl um, who was an enigma. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. so into you. He married her, so shout out to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Monica? Was, um, no, I think no. Tamia. Tamia, Tamia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamika yeah. or Tamia, something yeah. like that. Yeah, sorry about that. Call in, though. Let us know who it was. <laughs> um, if you do, first person to call in, look at this. Well, you can't see it. We'll show up, but show them. Show them, little Matt. Show them, little Matt. Cha-ching, Blicky. Hold That's on. Right, one, one, one. I ain't get all my tax money yet. I ain't get it we all yet. We got invested into the crypto. It, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, give us a call, 203-941-0045, with the correct answer to um the name of the song and who was uh, Grant Hill's uh, wife. 
Um, but on the NBA tip, uh, Jason Kidd and um, somebody else is going in. KJ. No, he should be in though. He KJ's. Should. Do you guys remember KJ? Kevin Johnson. Yeah. yeah. He's like the mayor of Phoenix or something. Can we talk real <laughs> quick about the name Anferny? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, well, go ahead because I have some Anferny news after. But go ahead, go ahead. Give us your feelings on um anything and, more than and was it you know just in let's go with the word urban uh mother like anybody else names their kid Mercedes and Lexus and shit like that and like did she? go for Anthony, but was just like fucking and went Anthony. And is anyone else in the world named Anthony? I'm yeah, sure like, there's Did she I'm have sure a list is. for something or prior to that? You yeah. Know? Um, I was going to say good for him and his uh, his little his little doll, the Penny doll. I yeah, know, Penny. Because he that? got branding. He's, he's got booth. money you for that. Know, but you know, yeah, but he should bring it back. Speaking of which, like he needs to bring that back out or because a he's new, kind of been irrelevant. A new player could do that. Yeah. You but, know, because um, he's, he's yeah. gone. He really should. Oh, but here, so, but to tie it all together, good thing you brought that up, though, is that he um, is in debate hey, for the head coaching job at, what was the school? College. Tulane, something like that. He Tulane, had, Rockets. Something like that. I think I think yep. it was, but yeah, Tulane so Rockets. he's uh, um, talking about him getting. Oh, no, that's the Toledo Rockets, my bad. Job. Shout out to the movie Blue Chips. Remember when like players were actually yep. in the NBA and making movies at the same time? That was wild. Yep, yep. Nick Nolte punting balls. Thank you. It, you it, that inspired us to go to the YMCA and kick the shit out of yep. balls and but, try to break the windows that were protected by the metal. And then we would kick them from full court and make them in. Yep, mm-hmm. killing it. <laughs> before, <laughs> before like. Videotaping trick shots. Yeah, right? I know. Before, yeah, yeah. before trick shots, before YouTube was you know? even around, right? Because YouTube wasn't around then. No. Nope. 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 But hey, now well, yeah, we no, all get so, a channel. But, but going back, <laughs> going back to it, right? Um, so, and, and actually, how do we we got into all of this because we were actually talking about um a uh, uh, MAGA news, but um mm-hmm. one of the things I wanted to talk about, and is it you know like I said, it, it falls into this though, but is it a big deal with um him and the Amazon thing and him and the Jeff Be- uh, Bezos? Is it kind of you know, so well, like, is it true? Are we, are we, are we, are we masking Jeff it? is like, a, to me, Jeff is a CIA contractor puppet. Like he works for them. He's got big buku bucks and he does. It. Like you were mentioning the uh, bank. He's making a bank yeah, now. Yeah, he's doing yeah, this yeah, and the yeah, news yeah, doing yeah. that. And then he's also the guy that owns the Washington Post, which constantly discredits things. And so, we're I mean, full of surprise. I mean, hold on. There's, being... there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm saying like, is, is there's. I'm, I'm, I'm biased. So I'm just going to say what I want to say. Right. So for well, no, MC say Hammer. what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was MC I had a family. family on that. But you know I keep it real. So here's what I'm. So here's but my point to that before, like I said, because right, yeah, no, if if you look hard enough, like yeah, it, it does. You know, it can it can appear that way though. But is it true? Like maybe he should be like digging into him though. No, you know, um, I'm, I'm just yeah, saying like I mean, all you know, breaking it up. I talked uh, 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 last week further, about though, the oil I, thing. I don't know what is the thing with. Um, well, it's a whole bunch of Anthony <laughs> <laughs> with a, Trump and Jeff Bezos. Like, what is that connection? That well, you're it's about? Uh, the whole Amazon thing, right? So, at the moment, it's talking about how, like, you know, how he's whoring out the uh, the postal service. Um, you know, Amazon's gotten away with you know far too much. Um, and again, like, you know, uh, we're talking about before, like, just the, you know, the liberty that they have. Like, Amazon is kind of you know, <clears throat> are they trying to put the word monopoly on it? Oh no! Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, so it's more of an antitrust, antitrust thing. But people are coming out making it seem like it's a personal attack. You know what I'm saying? And then once it seems like it's a personal attack, and then it's just like, well, yeah. So let's dig deeper. Like the truth yep. is, is yes, he does own. You know, he's the owner of the Washington. Um, owner Washington of a lot Post. of stuff. Dude, it's know. dangerous when somebody owns a fucking newspaper and they use it for their personal. Of course, no, but, it's been going on but, for years yeah, though. See, that's, yeah. If you want to believe that or not, obviously people. Well, not everyone believes that the media has been uh, uh, paid for. Well, Not everyone believes well, see, that. It, Only a few. It depends on to what, like, again, it depends on how passionate, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, totally. like, you, uh, uh, you, like myself, believe this, so, you know what I'm saying, we get a little bit more passionate. Some people, it's just uh, in, in bits, you know, you, they can't see the big picture. They think that we're speaking about, like, at the moment, you know what I'm saying, and yep. not seeing that, like, you know, no, really, like, look who has owned something, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, it's not tough to figure out, like, you know. But also, too, it's interesting, too, because if you're a, we'll just put it to the two sides of if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you can hear exactly what you want to hear depending on what channel you watch. Like, if you're a Republican, you you get everything said that you want to hear on Fox. Democrats can go to CNN, other yeah. places like that. So it might not matter that he owns it because it might if he leans a certain way, the people that lean that way would just read that. And you're right. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. And that's where, we'll like, how want. Trump and them use the word alternative facts isn't correct, but there are alternative facts where a Republican believes that because yeah. someone that's Republican said it, so then they yeah. believe that. Said it, showed it, tweeted it. Exactly. Know. And it's be, and two, it, it's what they it. wanted to hear. So And the same thing goes for the other side as well. 
We got bars so much Damn. better than episode. Yo, fuck episode twelve. Episode thirteen is where it's at. We've been here Shake three months date. already. No, and actually, I have a um, I have a confession to make, guys. Uh oh. I got another confession to make. The boogeyman would like to tell you that I am, I am indeed a crisis actor. Woo! <laughs> I got my first role. You know, nice, it's coming nice, out in a couple weeks. Nice. So we'll right. have a viewing party. You guys are more than welcome. You All know, right. but um, just yes. tip us off so we don't get shot. Shot. No, they don't Ooh. really get shot. We put them in basements. Wow. Keep them safe, please. Those are Chuck bodies. Them in the basement. Body zombies. Nice, zombies, nice. Zombies, zombies. But yeah, there's a big crystal meth party. We'll be having pizza downstairs in the basement. Whoop, whoop. That's amazing. So make sure if you want pepperoni or mm. anchovies, you specify. Um, Kids man. out here getting fucked. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ouch. I just stay out of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, but on a positive note, I do um, I'm I'm conflicted <laughs> on the um. You guys hear about the opioid website? Yeah. No, I haven't. That's, um, I heard something about opioid. Problem, being cracked down upon, right? Like, no. <laughs> upon yonder, upon yonder in the opioid hills. Opioid being cracked down upon. <laughs> Just past the wall, I can notice the opioids. So anyone slinging that shit, right? It's like, what? Well, I think you're leading to something else. You're talking about the um the consequences of yeah, these people, but yeah, no, I'm actually talking drugs. about the help, though. I'm talking about the help before so we. So the people that were on opium and now they need help getting off of it. On opioids, uh, uh, with the problem, there's actually a website um that had been created uh. This is, well, the, this is story. opioids from uh, Big Pharma or illegal? Well, that's that right. That's, you know, so at the end, that's that open that up. It's, it's about an opioid addiction, you know. Uh -huh. um, so, again, if you know your drugs, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know what I'm saying? A good portion of them do come from, you know, uh, Big Pharma. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, they make it to the streets or there's a street version of something. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. But, so it's about the addiction. The addiction is real because now it's, it seems like everybody knows, you know, something like, you know, I think, you know, through the years and I think prior show we had talked about, like, before not many people knew somebody who, you know, knew of AIDS or knew somebody who had AIDS, you know what I'm saying? Now you're like, you know, uh, you know, now you know somebody who does crack, you know what I'm saying? Now you know somebody who is, you know You heard saying, the guy you know, that OD'd and died and you know of him. Yes, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, um, it, you know, definitely a, 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 an epidemic. But so the site is out there. If, if, if you need help, I don't know, guys, if you're familiar with it, to, to plug it. Maybe once in a while, do get serious. If you de if you need help, this is there for you. Totally. Other people, um, uh, the real site? people. Is there a name site? No, no, I'm not. But again, it's so it's so trending right now that by the time you watch this, it probably did something, or it'll be the new foundation that's getting investigated. But but it supposedly is supposed to um to help real people telling the stories, congressmen, politicians, you know. Yeah. So it's now, real. If you need help, like you know, saying you should you know, get on Twitter, and Twitter. Is it anonymous yeah. or is it a? Uh, oh no, I don't know. No, 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 no. Well, I think it could be, but yeah. no, you have real people like you know in your like telling your telling their story. You know, um, Interesting. And I, I, again, I didn't have the names, but we have yep. you know politicians, athletes, and just regular you know hmm. regular people. You know, it's just more or less a, a confession. This is real, and obviously, it's a cleansing. I hope and an enlightening of such for global consciousness. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, bars. yeah, yeah. You know, that'll um, be great. Looking forward to that. Hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't get held against anybody, right? No. You want to go ahead and. Hopefully we all shine in a yeah. new utopia that's not of their, some sort. That's not, their not new, this that's not their new 15 dystopia. minutes, of, uh, 15 well, minutes of fame. Boogie, on what you just said, that is a thing too, where now everyone's coming out with stuff like, well, yeah, you know, I mean, go ahead and admit your problems. Admit your problems. Get them out there. Do all that. Oh, you want a job? Man. Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. when you told us you smoke crack? <laughs> no, get him out. out here getting fucked. <laughs> get, him, all right, get him out there. Wait, wait, wait for the red light. Wait for the red light. Okay, go. Exactly. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Now tell your story. Wow, but yeah, man, it's uh, that's <sighs> that's how I look at it. Is you got to look at it in both ways of, it could very well help someone in their personal life, but also, that's there to hang over somebody's yeah. as well. Could you know? be. You hate hate to think that way, but that's true. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's some truth. That's, that's some John Wilkes. <laughs> For real, y'all. We just we just hope people got family members that did have helped them. I speak to yeah, the family the, members yeah, if they need help. somebody's too fucked up, man, you know your friend that's too fucked up. Talk to him if you can. If For not, real. Yeah, know, do something. something. You know, you God's want. watching. That's do something. That, do something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the name of this episode. Do episode something. 13, do, do something. something. Right, by, the, by, by the boogeyman, though. The boogeyman calling you do out. Something. Do something. something. Yankees Speaking been doing. Doing something. something. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Speaking Damn it. Of doing something. Uh, Uber. I got some Uber news. Heard them. Already done. Crash. Paid, paid it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know Settled what it was it. though? But because that's what you oh, do. Cash. That's what you do. Oh, yeah. look, look, I'm not that's mad what at you, him. Yeah. I'm explaining the news. That's, what happened? Yeah. What happened? Tell me what happened. <laughs> All right, so something about guys? cash and Uber? Oh, cash so and Uber? The car the driverless car. Yep. The passenger. Self driving. Self driving car, Uber. Self driving Uber. Had a driver in the car. Fuck. Car in the test phases. Lady goes across the street, hit by car, lady dead. Who's to blame? Who's to blame? Is in California? Arizona. Arizona. Um then a uh 
what, two weeks, one week? So relatively close, a settlement is made. Uber pays out. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this: in that time frame, what are your thoughts? So, no driver, person in the back seat, but the car hits a pedestrian. Is that what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. A person was in the car, in the driver's seat, but the car was an autonomous car, self-driving car. Got you. And is there a mechanism where there is a human feature to overtake the? Absolutely. And the person the didn't do it. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my question. No, no, also. no, yeah, no, no, no. What's the, the What's the procedure when it comes to this? Automated driving. This guy is supposed to be. Look, whatever happens, happens. There. Oh, human intelligence intervention. I mean, I is that too yeah, much? Yeah, I don't know the story too deep, but I would hope that that would be an option to happen. But then I don't know whose fault it is if they choose not to do that because it's supposed to be an autonomous car that's right. supposed to stop, Recognize especially on something as easy as somebody walking. But now, in front here's of part of it. Stop on like. A fucking fox yeah, they got a house. Yeah, you know, yeah, radar yeah, yeah. Re, uh, de- yeah, yeah. detector. Detection. There. Yeah, now, echo, dull. Here's the part about it, though. If you do see the woman they got hit, like, was a little carelessness. Like, it makes you wonder, like, these cars still have, like, little radars. Like, it doesn't yeah. just look like, you know, our car. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know something's up with it. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, got yeah. the labels on it. So, when you see her coming out, it was almost as a, a, a testing and tempting of sorts. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, she could have been, uh, like those ambulance chasers where she like she could have been looking for a payday and her family very, got the again, payday because she yeah. died like so I said, now there's a new system of automated drivers and there's people that wait for them to leave the headquarters and they all oh, call their buddy that's by the sidewalk with a skateboard we were doing a trick oh and be. they go across the street you know um, I'm like sure said, they with everything good something comes bad out of the people yeah. are trying to suck money out of, of course, so I mean there's definitely people that just want to ride to the club and then there's people like hey man if that thing hits me yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now here speaking of that, here's another crazy thing though. If you saw like Uber lost billions of dollars for another year, um and the way Uber generates money is all off of investors. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the money that we get paid as like drivers is yeah. basically like the customer money. You know, um, any type of bonus money, like that all is coming from the investors. Yep. This is a company that somehow is just like how does Everybody wants to get in and find out how to, you know, get in before they go public. You know, yeah. how much do you need before yeah, you go yeah. public? How much do you need? How much do you need? You know, they got the driverless cars. You know what I'm saying? Um, they got the the, the, the planes, the helicopters, but you, okay. they lost billions of dollars for another year. You know what I'm saying? And now their self-driving car just hit somebody. Yeah. You know, um, they were pulled out of um Southeast. There's a company called uh, Go Grab or something out of Southeast Asia. Yep. They were completely bought out. Um, wow. Uh, in light of the accident, the uh, driverless car program has ended in Arizona, and California has said after this permit license or whatever is up, yep, it's they're going to take it up. Right oh, they're so it's a hold. definite big, you know, and again, I was thinking that it's a setback. I think yeah. this is a big deal, like a huge setback, yep. because all it takes is just one person to say, you know, look at what we want to believe, like one person to be. A, you know, yeah. You know, a little apprehensive. Good news it's is not going to happen. they put it on hold, which will save more lives. Than... I'll be honest with you, I'm happy that yes they put it no. on hold for a selfish reason of like, I know if they Tell keep them. doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. If it gets farther, it gets farther. If it starts working perfectly, I'm out of a job for delivering. You first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, all yeah, that yeah, happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, you food guys are going first. Exactly. They send this bitch to McDonald's. The McDonald's tosses the McDonald's in the car. Boom. Yeah, yeah, go and deliver yeah. it. Go get it out the car. You know. That's true. So, yeah. Very true, very true. No, I'm happy that they're shutting that shit down. But yeah, I mean, of course, you know, 20 years or 30 years in the future, it'll eventually happen, but it's uh Pretty shit. soon all that stuff will move to the blockchain, too, not to get blocka, too crypto blocka. on there. But that's, cool. in, that's interesting stuff. Interesting. Damn, Uber. Yeah. So, but yeah, and then there's some some more, though. Um, But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy, catchy situation. Oh, and then the Lyft came out. Lyft, uh, did I talk is, about Is Lyft one? still strong? Like, oh, I, yeah, Lyft is strong, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's there's supposed to be a driver a new driver app I don't know if I told you but it's supposed to be the third one where there's only supposed to take 4.9 and above Uber there's readers. All t- yeah, yeah, no, there's so a yeah, whole the, bunch the, of like the high of, class drivers. Everybody's trying to get in where they fit in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's why you can go ahead to yeah. rideshareidiot.com and you can ask a question um and find out about um uh, some driver and get fancy on them. But um yeah, no, there's a whole <laughs> bunch of little apps where you can like, you know, uh, uh process it, yep, uh, yep. read it out. But um no, Lyft is a very big player in the game. So no, but their story though, they had talked about they wanted um they're going after public transportation. You know, they want to um more or less like, you know, have no, what, no they, taxis. They want to be the Lyft bus. No taxis and no buses. Yeah, yeah. They want to be you know they want to be the uh, a go-to person. That's interesting. Um, that would be interesting. And another interesting thing. Uh, I think um, Elon got to be when he completes the Boring Company though, because that's just that part. Which sounds cool, but like wh- decimate all. But Sorry. what if it, what if it does it to the Earth too though? Is that like we little. You know, you know, it could be cool. I'm all for I don't, it. Honestly, I I'm still don't think it. you drive, you dig a hole down, you're going to go to China. So, I mean, I think he's all right. 
did he say what his goal is with the flooring company? Uh, transportation for everybody, uh, cheap, effective. I haven't yeah. really, uh, you know, that's the the gist of it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, no, it's just interesting to see, you know, all these companies fighting for something that, you know, a second later, you know, those the scenes in a movie where one big fish, you think it's big, and then the bigger fish eats it. You know, it's like yep, yep. Oh, that's, that's all over here. It's the market. Every day. Competition. It's like fighting Ronda Rossi. <laughs> Speaking of her, how's Ronda. she doing? Ronda. Ronda's not good, She's not man. doing good in the I Help me, Ronda. Help. I, man, I hope they do the thing like Macho Man and uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat did in Ooh. WrestleMania 3 where they just plan out the entire match and don't have any fucking, you know, oh, shit, spur of the moment, we'll do this because... Ronda's looking rough. She's yeah. throwing a couple people around. None of it looks. How's she safe looking in the all. ring? Like she's not like when when she goes off the rope. She she, she hasn't done I haven't it yet. Seen it. This Damn. is the thing. She hasn't had a match yet. She's only had talking parts where like someone will come out, talk quick shit. I do one move, yeah. and they've all does she stutter? Like shit. But see here's is she what is she stuttering? Like her words, her lines, like she you f- could tell blank she's freezes. Not, she's just not comfortable speaking. I'm, yeah, I think in her face. Yeah, it's almost like, like fake she's smile. Got the, well, yeah, like did I get it right? Kind of look, but it's like, yep. well, but we're going, so we yeah, can't yeah, tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah. You know? you keep going. You're <laughs> yeah. fucking it up. And you can tell that she's acting. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's, she does yeah. not believe the words that are coming out of her mouth. You know, it's one but, of those like. Let me. But here's what I can see. I think it's a fallback because she's got that UFC background. That if the match goes bad, that she can whip it into some type of submission. Like you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, yo, yeah. if it looks completely awful. Fucking, Give her a figure four. He'll, yeah, yeah. Fucking, he'll hook into a figure four. The crowd will go, ooh, ah. And they'll yeah, forget about the last eight yeah, minutes of like true. what just happened. You know? Also, I don't think she's going to be there that long because she's already coming out with interviews herself saying like, hey, when it's she's no, a, lo- oh, when it's no longer fun. The lesbian tapes. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, shit. When it's no longer fun, I'm done. Yeah. So when the crowd starts booing you because you don't know how to wrestle, that's yeah. probably not going to be any fun anymore. You know? Ooh. Is China still alive? Ooh. No. No, yeah, she died, right? Yeah, yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say she might need some tips from China. Yeah, no, I think, um, who would? You know, it was just off subject, but it's still MMA. Uh, Floyd Mayweather went for his license to get his MMA license. So he's, <laughs> what's going on with that he, shit? He will absolutely never fight in MMA. Like, no. no. Nope. He's going for it. Well, no, right, so no, I, yeah, no. I just, it's why well, I, I throw I the you different know, lane at I you. I saw that. Um, I hope not. That's just. Dude, he, he's not going to do it. He's building up just a box again that's it because he spends money like a motherfucker like, yeah, he makes yeah. money like a motherfucker but he spends it yeah like, whenever him and 50 cent were beefing like 50 cent will come out with a little bit of truth they're like floyd's fucking broke that's why he keeps fighting you know like yeah. that shit because he'll make 50 million and then spend it which i don't even understand how that works but yeah obviously all that, that shit he'd be renting yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you look at a uh, got expensive thing, i don't know right? i don't know i don't know your money situation floyd <laughs> <laughs> shit <clears throat> But, oh, Wesley Snipes, random. Dude just got big time into the crypto, helping the whole Puerto Rico scene down there. Oh, yeah. don't call the comeback. No, no, definitely don't. But supposedly, uh, future's looking good for Puerto Rico. <laughs> shout out, shout out. What else is going on here? Wesley, huh? I'm trying yeah. To think, yeah. But uh, re- yeah, but speaking of quick to close out the WWE thing, WrestleMania is next week, uh, April eighth. That just should be interesting. Yeah, happy birthday, Cheddar Mike! Woo! WrestleMania, yeah, yeah. right? We have a little WrestleMania birthday viewing WrestleMania. party. Tell them, <laughs> trying uh, to keep the, that secret to the world, but now y'all know. I think the third or fourth anniversary of uh, Warriors' death. Yes. Oh really? Yep. Okay. Oh yep. yes, yep. yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Wildness. Absolutely. Maybe um, you think think next week can dig up um, dig up the song somewhere and 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 put it at the beginning or the end. Oh you yeah. Know? Oh um, definitely. Right. The people need to hear that. You know? Oh so, definitely. Yeah. There's, some, there's there's a lot of things that you guys have done that the people need to hear. The world know? needs to know. <laughs> and then uh, needs to know. So what else was going on though? What else I had uh. uh about oh, the lady, uh, 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 quick religion thing. Remember we had talked about with, uh, the Pope had something, and oh. I told you about the, the young oh. Venezuelan girl okay. who was, like, dead for 23 hours. But anyway, so thing. first, I don't know if you guys heard or we spoke earlier, the Pope said that there's no hell. Yes. Did you hear Vatican's that one? been going crazy for a you while. Know? People um, haven't been believing me, but I believe you. But, yeah, so it was mm-hmm. that, was, that was an interesting thing. The and Pope it's like, said, oh, but he meant. And, yeah, you know. yeah, the Pope said there's no hell, and then they came back and said, well, he was misquoted, but so I want to know what the fuck the quote was then. Yeah. Because he went on to explain that if your soul is bad, then you just disappear. And if yes. your soul is good, then, you know, you go on. But, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And, but, and, pretty and, accurate, pretty, pretty accurate, though. That was, that was, he was kind of saying, like, you do bad, like, you just poof and gone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
But now on the other end, though, um, I don't know the age. She was a young, uh, a young girl. She had been dead. Uh, first, first, let me uh, preface this by saying a younger teenage female, um, Latin American country. So I want to say like Venezuela or something like that, but pronounced dead for 23 hours, came back to life saying that she was brought down by, I don't know if it was God or Jesus, and she was brought down to hell and the things that she had saw. Mm. And, and she was told to, you know, what you see, like, you know, tell tell what you see. Anyways, uh, there was a 11, 11, I think it was a dozen celebrities that she had said that she saw down there. Uh-huh. Um, one of them was the Pope. One of them was Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. You know, but it was just very, very wow. odd. Like, right at, right after the Pope says that there's no hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, this girl was just like, you know, she wakes up from, like, being dead for 23 yeah. hours. And was just <laughs> like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> Michael Jackson's there. The Pope is there. Um, Jeez. Wow. But yeah, I've always so looked that one up. That's interesting with the conviction and with people speak about religion in the afterlife of like, like the Pope. He's just a guy. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but he's re- an anointed guy, man. You know the process, right? I yeah, blackmail. I understand mail. that, but he's still. Part of it? No, it's. Like, right. But he's still just a man. Like, he didn't get the peak, like, into heaven and shit like that. Yeah. So, you got it's always weird, a little the, voice. the conviction and the belief that other people have. And I guess. Part of it could be scared of what happens when you die and all that other shit. But I've just always gone with the, hey, man, I don't know. Try to be a good person. Yeah. But the when people have such strong convictions of like, no, this is what happens when you die. I, I don't yeah. understand how you get there mentally. You yeah, know? yeah. Or, or and again, that. no, you know, no disrespect to the Bible, but in the in a lot of people's interpretation of whether, you know, again, the Bible, the Quran, whatever, whatever you know, whatever book it is, you know, the interpretation of, you know, of that. But I think it comes down to, and I don't know if I said it before, but a lot of it comes down to fear you know what i'm saying there's a whole control yep. fear thing going on um on many different levels you know um and again free your mind and the rest will follow you know um and if we help you know if we help that's cool if we fear doesn't exist don't, you know um it shouldn't you know but it does though because it, it's it's a driving factor in you know everything it's not real <laughs> <laughs> I am the boogeyman And I am here to tell you That shit is real Be afraid Be very afraid I don't smell it <laughs> What was that uh, movie Jeepers Creepers Where he smells the fear It's well A, lot like of, then I did, uh, a new one came out like No, Cape Fear or something But that's a yeah uh, Cape Fear is a good movie too And then just fear With De Niro. Mark yep. right Fall, oh, yeah. Let me in the fucking house. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah, no, fear, 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 I think is... That was when he was juicing, right? Marky Mark, when he started juicing? Yeah. Well, who... Do we get into that? Yeah, We're about the last episode you we did. did. Uh, I thought you had, the three, they, he found the, the, but I don't the, know if we got the numbers it, in the phone. A yeah. little bit. I, I, I thought think, before the show we were. I think but... people know out there there's a Hollywood connection of fucking juicers and how no, they get their anywhere. shit. Yeah, yeah, but no, the guy no. didn't prove anything yet, so it's kind of still ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. Accusations. Yeah, yeah like he but had again, the date here's, when he you know was going to come out with everything and didn't, and yep. now it's kind of like, yeah. No, is Back this one partner. of those? Is this one of those ones to truly care about, or is it a so what? What you put in your body, like how much of that is, you know? I there's, think that one a, comes down to, yeah. I'll go ahead. I was going to say, what you put in your body, you did it, and you you deal with the consequences. Yeah, but well, were you talking in terms of like, should you be able to perform as a performer, or as well, no, well, though. I yep. think yeah, a little bit of it's different. Yeah. I'm just saying because. Because we're talking about, um, well, first about the Marky Mark thing, if, or Mark Wahlberg. If he is associated <laughs> with that, like, to what extent is it, uh, I, you know, because, well, again, then the next question I guess it would lead to is then, well, what about the people that, yeah, so I guess yeah, do we yeah, answer yeah. that together, or is it, you know? It's I don't know, for, for Marky Mark, the only thing that, I mean, shout out to the Funky Bunch, but for me, I'm like, couldn't you have just gone to, like, when you're at that point, can't you just go to a doctor and pretty much get anything, you know, so. I think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Give me, you know, and the science, I think, is at a point where you could say, hey, yeah. I heard, like, X, you know, millimeters of, you know, blah, 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 yep. you know what I'm saying, with a healthy diet and a shot yeah. in the ass is, you know. I mean, last I checked, though, and, and for actors, there, there is no rule against whatever, right? Well, I mean, it's it, just for the, I don't know what's illegal, what's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, but that's what I'm but, saying, like, to what extent is it, like, to say, like, you know. Like, is that fair competition because some actors juice and some other actors not? It doesn't matter. The roles are well, that's what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying, but but that ties into if there's a performance to it. You know, what I'm yeah. saying. So are you like what? What's your reason for using it? I guess you know. Yeah. Um, and if it's performance driven, then I guess it's another. Maybe is it the ethics <laughs> question? Like what you know? I, I don't know. I say I don't see a difference. Like first of all, be open about it. Don't say I don't do. I don't do, and have this mounting case against you. Um, yeah. because what you put in your body, if it ends up killing you, that's yeah. a choice that you made. Whether you chose to do yep. it. For the Mark McGuire. To keep up all of them. All of them. <laughs> yeah. You know Jose, what I'm saying? Jose, yeah. yeah. Watching again, them both as rookies and seeing how skinny they were. is like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Sammy Sosa. 
Yeah. You know? Sammy Sosa, who is now a white, white. man. Yeah, yeah I, I know. know. Yep. I know. Yep. I know, but yep. he's not, though. Stop. Don't say that because you're, he's, you're, he's uh, you're insulting a lot of white people. He's okay? Cuban. Okay, because yeah, he's yeah. not even white right now. Excuse okay? His skin is pink. He looks like a baby mouse that's about to be fed to a snake. His right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. That's a big... <laughs> one thing, Sammy Sosa's a big dude, though. He's a yeah, big hamster. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he has the skin color of. He I would say that size. Yeah, maybe. What about, let's shave 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 a bear or a gorilla? Yeah. <laughs> that, no, but he, yeah. he looks sick though. Anyways, anyways, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think what you what you put in you, <laughs> what you put in you, I think is you know is your own thing and be open about it because at the end of the day, like somebody yeah. I think who is on some type of performance thing and someone who is isn't, it's still relatively equal. I think a guy not on the juice can tackle, punch, strike out, run. Yep. You know, um, I do believe that there's that potential edge, but I think with that potential edge also comes the increased potential of injury. So again, weigh them all yeah. out. It's that individual's business, what he puts in his body, you know, um, yeah. If there's the team also, wants to say don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make that a team thing. Your employer says, but I think getting into Yeah, I think that's when it should be obviously yeah. uh, illegal or but, And there's also conflicting reports on what uh, certain steroids do to you. Like there's some people that come out and say there's no adver- and not no adverse to where like you know testicle shrink stuff like that but they mean like no long term in terms of like basically you don't fuck up your body if you use them then of course there's the other side of it that said so once again there's the whatever you want to believe is out there which yeah which which science book which which science book which uh which bro science are you um subscribing to bro side (laughs) you got third period man Um, fist pumping speaking of fist pumping i don't know if you guys know um along the lines of reboots but jersey shore you guys hear jersey Jersey shore is coming back oh shit that's that's not a good all shit though right no i was gonna say how do i get on that shit oh yeah right probably well they're probably so protected right now i'd destroy that show Now it's just like is now it's truly, 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 yeah, truly it's scripted. Gonna be, yeah. Before it was like semi scripted, like you guys play in this sandbox right here and it's And gonna, also I wonder if they're doing it because one of the guys is about to go to jail for a while. What, so I wonder if he was just like, Listen guys, get your cash up, help get your me. money up. Like yeah. help me out. Uh, this is a good point. Uh, like, yeah. Let's be at real quick, you know what I'm saying? Let's yep. flip it over this one season. Buy it um, low. Because that one dude, he's going to jail for a minute when he gets fucking... Is he? Yeah. Cause was it, it was, that long? It was... It was tax no- evasion, though. Wesley Snipes is out. It didn't feel like he was locked up I'm that not, long. Yeah, but to me, four did, or yeah. five years is a long fucking yeah. time, you know, mm-hmm. to, to be locked up. Any time to be in a box. Yeah. Is, yeah. And because this dude, years. it was like four or five million, you know, and they don't give a fuck if you pay that back. They, they sit you down for yeah. a second. Crazy. Yes, kinda, is that kind of cool? Is that justice? Did the, did the system get justice? Hell no. I don't think so, man. No. Nah. Uh, speaking of going, DMX going back to jail for a year. <laughs> like, when did he get out? Big surprise. He got, <laughs> like, three weeks ago, you know? But yeah, DMX, he's going back to jail for a year because he fucked up probation. If he failed the drug test. If and then, DMX wow. ever gets successful, he should open up a halfway house. Like, buy a halfway house. So that way, if he gets out, he could just go to, go to his house. <laughs> he should have his own crypto coin. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be would a be bad investment, I think. DMX that would going. be a bad investment, <laughs> I think. It's for your dogs. Yeah. But it's weird because now food. DMX, he, he was, for tax evasion, he got fucked and, you know, got let out and then failed the drug test and so now he's going back in. But that's odd, too, that they put you in jail because you didn't pay your taxes, but now you're in jail and you can't make any money to pay the taxes. So yeah. it's an odd yeah. thing. Vicious cycle. But I think X is way past saving, man. Like, he's fucking... It's it's rough. Like you look at, it, he just looks straight up like a crackhead that you, you would got, see in New Haven. He looks, he does yeah, not look like yeah, a yeah. celebrity. No I, yo, shout out just, to New Haven though. I, I mean, think I brought his locker. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I think I got DMX's locker. What he had just, left. What over, he had he left. Yeah. Yeah. These mics right here. One held by shit, DMX. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hit me up. Yeah. Oh, jeez. No, but um, I want to talk about uh, on on the reboot thing. Um, <clears throat> tying into that, who saw Roseanne? You guys see Roseanne? I saw. Man, I have I, not, I, but I heard. I, I was happily surprised. I give him a thumbs up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like I, I said, let's not. Up. You know, it's just a TV show. You yeah, know, yeah. but high ratings. One of the highest. Yeah. Well, again, here's here's where you know whatever type of news you know what I'm saying you would would like, but um, it reported 18 or 22 million viewers. You know? Their comeback was higher than their uh, finale. Finale. Which is cool. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I, that we have more. That's people not in the fake world. news, right? That's real news. I don't know. That's real news, fake news. Yeah, who knows what news is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we saying, true. Yo, you sitting here watching these three motherfuckers right here, saying, you know what? Let me try to verify two zero three nine four one zero zero four five. Is that shit real? Leave a message. You know what I'm saying? Let us know what you think. Or you could text as well. You can always text two zero three nine four one zero zero four five. Or them. call Tell in. Them. Let them know. Talk that shit. Tell them. Yes. Yeah, reboot. So. 
Roseanne, I thought was pretty cool. I want to see where they go with the little token black girl because that off the rip, I was like, mm, it was off. No, but see, here's the thing good. though. Before before jumping before jumping into that, there were a lot of they hit on a lot of things. Um, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, gender identity. You know, um, yeah. you know, family stuff. You know what I'm saying? Healthcare. You know what I'm saying? The election. Like they they kept it they kept it all in there. You know what I'm saying? They talked yep. about guns. It was um. Millennial safe spaces, all oh, that everything, yeah, yeah. everything got touched on. You Get know? it all so, out in the first episode, second, episode? first two episodes. First, yeah, first they hit episodes, on a lot yeah. of things. They were just like, you know, what would like big old spoonfuls of like ice cream. They're like, here, you're gonna like this. Uh, here, you're gonna like. And you know what? I think the public did. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Because it felt good to watch it. And whether and when you when you found yourself laughing, you're like, well, I'm laughing. Because I agree or disagree or for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. it evoked the, the response that, you know what I'm saying, that was yeah. needed. I think, though, like you were saying, they and leading up to tying in with what you said, there was a little too much of, like, we see what they're, you know, they definitely tried to jam every possible yes. flavor and ingredient into this. Because mm-hmm. you have, as we mentioned before, you know what I'm saying, touch on the gender identity, um, DJ, you know what I'm saying, the uh, Roseanne son, you know what I'm saying? Did it mention uh, a wall? What's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything, everything, everything. I have um, to watch it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Again, may have even they may have even you know hinted on hinted on Bitcoin and you know what I'm saying. I mean, really everything that yeah, would yeah. have been any hmm. type of news relevant since Dan died. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they hit. You know what I'm saying? Like they they hit you with. But so Wait, so Dan didn't come back. He's dead. Oh no, no Dan came it, back. It was, it was all a, a dream. <laughs> That's what it was. It was all yeah, a dream. Yeah. No, he just wakes up and she's like, "I thought you were dead." And yeah. then they go from it. Like so. Yeah. Uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how the show hits you, like, you know, kicks you in the gut and says, let's go, you know? Wow. But it, it, it's almost like reading the internet and then they just put that into a Bam. show. Bam. Like, like, done. The, yeah. the and so, internet, that's good. And said, like, show. whatever, cool. yeah, whatever we're missing, like, we're going to, we'll put it here. Like, it's not done yet. So, but there are a couple characters where we're like, what's really going on? Yeah. We hit on it earlier where Did DJ, any characters bash uh, Trump? Yeah, you have two sides. Absolutely, Both sides. Roseanne absolutely. loves Trump. Her best friend hates her sister. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, uh, there's you, you got to watch it. Yeah, worth, watch you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not, you won't lose. Um, you won't lose interest. It's, I heard yeah. uh, Trump called her after and said congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Like so. I said, congratulated her. But see, here's the, the funny part about it was, you know. Dude, his congratulations talking about like you know how it was the most viewed show and then people want to get technical and says well actually the most viewed show that week was you know um, but what was it the Stormy Daniels interview uh, you know? was it really so but even just I heard, to uh, stay right there real quick for um, he called Roseanne but then they interviewed John Goodman and he's like yeah he's not calling me you know what I mean? uh, so even just right there, you got she loves him, he hates him, but they, they make the show oh, together. Which and is actually, cool, all sides here, well, hmm. we got to get into um a uh, 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 reboots because I think some of it's gonna feel a little nostalgic, and we could probably crack on some Reboot of them. But keeping it on um the Roseanne thing, Roseanne shortly after um the thing had a tweet where she kind of talked a little bit and then gave up on it. We have to get the rest of the details about the um the child sex rings and Uh-oh. talked about but but here's where i was confused um because she had talked about no one's giving trump credit for breaking them up so it was just like whoa, whoa. like what do you you know what i'm saying like you guys you know, didn't hear about people, that though from the day when he's been in he's been cracking all these sex rings and and uh human trafficking no you guys never heard about no, that i know that no. it's an obviously issue. no no no, well, no, hang no, on. no no wait no i was saying no no listen media know that don't want to issue know that it's an issue yes and acknowledge they, that but i'm just saying know like, that going, he's been actually getting it Stopped like rings, a lot of rings, and yeah, I'm but, surprised. But he, he talks get, about, but see, see here's the thing. Though. I wonder why he, he talks put about. That yes, out there more exactly. He does. He does. He does. He does. Where? He has been putting it out there, and it's, it's been on his uh, Twitter feed as well. But well, yeah. the common question is a lot of people haven't seen that. So about the Roseanne, Roseanne gave up on it because then she started talking about well, it's a matter of opinion. Well, I'm and, glad she did that. That's a smart move. I don't know. There's the masses of people that don't know that, so now they're gonna watch a show and they're yeah. gonna get trickled in with that. Under shit. the assumption, though, like I said, just yeah, say do their own research. That, like you know that it is. I'm aware of it, but I'm just talking about the progress that was attributed to him. That's where I was like, that part, I, I, I don't. You know. know that whole Anthony Weiner thing? Yeah. <laughs> so you know what was on his uh, laptop supposedly? The guy's last name was Weiner, so I think it was all set up <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah. That's the truth, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, his, 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 what were you saying? so on his laptop though was supposed to be a bunch of uh, pedophilia, yeah. And supposedly also on that laptop happened to be some videos of pedophilia, mm-hmm. and also in those videos supposedly was Hillary Clinton. Interesting. So there is the one guy on the internet that swears that like uh, Hillary Clinton ate his ass out, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yes. Like that—that's a YouTube no. <laughs> video to watch, like because it's a guy. Well, there's a yeah. 
he swears he's just like they came in they drugged me and when i woke up she had my legs <laughs> fucking back and hillary was going to town like there's it's a, a funny there's a guy video. that did a inter- real interview out in the area in chicago but he was a dude that said that when uh obama was the politi- politician came down there got into a fucking limo with him did coke, gave him blowjobs and shit, fucking wow. all this nasty shit, all this boy. That was a uh, House of Cards. Actually, um, had some similar, you know, what I'm saying similar themes. Um, yep. You know, and again, Kevin Spacey live in a fucked up world. Well, and you be, know, um, that, that's what they do life. with everything. Like with the in the movies when they knock down the towers, then they do it in real life, and you know, and on and on and on. With they do it in a movie first, and then they, or they do it in a movie second. Like we were talking about last week with the uh, Michigan water. This shit's already a movie. Yeah, yeah they yeah. already made it into a movie before they even fixed the fucking problem. Like that's crazy. And I'm not talking about a documentary. Yeah. No, I got they you. Made a yeah. movie. Yeah. Like, All right, let's make a ton of money off this and not fix the situation. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But sticking with the reboots, yeah, Roseanne, that shit. I, I think it's the closest. How everyone says, like, oh, you can never do something like All in the Family again. I yeah. think it's the closest mm. to that where they're actually saying stuff, but. Then on the other tip, I do fear that like they're gonna say something and they're like, "Well, that was too much. Shut it down." You know, I think well, that's no. gonna happen as well. See, here's here's what's going to happen. Okay, we're gonna get right back into TV. It's gonna get it's gonna be so cool. Or it doesn't gonna be so cool, but people are gonna get so excited about it as a new thing because it's gonna go away from some reality t- uh, TV. Yeah. Um, Roseanne, which is on ABC. Okay, and again, if you want to say like you know big picture, like you know what I'm saying you know rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you know would would tend to uh, uh, be a uh, Hard left, you know what I'm saying, or yeah. left type ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what this the is going to do? Of it getting pulled. No, no, no. Well, I, I'm Mumble just saying, ahead. you can the competition. Yeah. You're gonna have other people. Everyone's gonna start tuning into this. So now you're gonna have. No, so my question is, what's Fox going to do? I don't see the mm. seat. So see, so somebody's going to go ahead and try to resurrect somebody. Yeah, Someone's yeah, going yeah. to come back and have a competitive show. You know, so like I said, you know, yeah. reboots. Is it going to be? Um, I mean, I know best we, bet would be Tim the Two Man Taylor. <laughs> well, they, he tried. Well, no, but maybe go back got to shut his down. got booted because he was too right. Because yeah. he was a Republican, yeah. But that was a cool show though. Like it was a good. It just, made fun of everything. It was truth. Exactly. It's like, oh, you fucking idiots! But I'll make you laugh about it. But so that was interesting that that one got shut down. That's a good point. Oh well, no, that's so what happens. Another one coming. Um, but reboots. Do we need them though? Because um. We had mentioned uh, uh, Stargate was one, right? I think you'd mentioned Stargate uh, was one. Um, Murphy, Cagney, Brown's yeah, coming Cagney and Lacey. You guys remember mm. this one? Um, yeah. Oh, but um, Cobra Kai. You guys remember Karate Kid? Mm. You think I'm wondering what that's going to probably not. I don't. I want to see. Do you know what it's coming out on? Is it a Netflix? I think it's thing? a Netflix is, thing. Yeah. If it's a Netflix thing, it has a chance. I'll put it hmm. that way. Yeah. Because yeah. then they. Well, can I can't swear see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking... I can't see it doing anything else. But what I find funniest about it is I think that memory maybe that we all had like after the Karate Kids was like, yeah, Johnny probably didn't make much of his life after, but yeah. something kind of cool could have happened to Daniel. But then when you see like where they're at when the show starts, like Daniel's like a used car salesman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the total like, opposite. You know? yeah. Oh no, no, and Johnny's still on hard times, so it's just like nothing good happened after yeah. the tournament for either one of them, really. That's you know, but that's, <laughs> but it'd be inter- You know, it's yeah, like yeah. that. Why? What happened? Right? Yeah. You know, um, they become friends and they become cop buddies and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, you know what though? Here, this is going to be the one uh, uh, to uh, a remake. Okay, remake Mork and Mindy. Okay, you wow. have a female with an alien. Yeah. Boom. That was done. really good. Robin Williams is a yep. Mexican. Now find George Lopez. Well, George Lopez won't do it, but I'm t- yo George Mork Lopez would have been a good Mork one. And Mindy yeah. reboot. Yeah, you know that'd be I'm really saying? good. Um, that's a T-shirt right there. Robin that's really Williams good. Is a Mexican now. <laughs> uh, Mindy yeah, was fine too. Cool. Any reboots that you guys would like to see? Huh? Uh, I got reboots. What about Perfect don't... Strangers? Can we do Perfect Strangers again, or should that die? Mm. They, I think they put it up on Hulu, but I mean, both the guys are still alive, so it'd be interesting. Perfect Strangers, yeah. What about um, uh, Family Matters? Urban. Nah, no. Nah? I think you're right. I think that one we should. We should nah, I was gonna say if worst case scenario, married with children. I want to see what they're up to. I would see that. Yeah, that. I'd watch yeah. that. I yeah, but I think I think that. what's his name's character is just solid gold right now. His Dumpy guy. What in uh, Modern Family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it be tough to do that? And the other thing too, I think that would be another one where I don't know if they could take it as far as they did before, like No Ma'am shit like that, where they were just shitting yeah, on women yeah, all yeah, day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. He was a um shoe salesman and like when the fat women came in he would make fun of the fat women yeah, like yeah. dude you yeah. get shut down right away for that stuff now yeah but i would love to see that again because like married with children was dope uh also another one i don't want to see oh no don't want to see cosby <laughs> i think i think I Bill don't Cosby's want busy. them to do martin man they're talking about doing martin i don't want them to fucking do no. that. Yeah, martin was cool but it wasn't like for me, i wasn't caught up in the martin hype i did like it you know what i'm yep. saying like it was cool to watch it was alternative you know 
realistically it was alternative TV for me. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, reboot, I think Martin yeah. would only be good if they made like a one-time movie. No, thing. but what's McCall is dead though, so you really yeah. can't. Tommy's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tommy's so, dead. You know? And but again, sadly, it. like he was the, one of those characters. Though. Yeah. What would you call him? The complimentary people. That yeah. Was yeah. you know he I was, enjoyed uh, watching. Big on the supporting cast. Yeah. Um, all of all of Martin Lawrence's characters, I wasn't really crazy about. You know, what I'm saying give him credit for being funny, but yep. like, you know, again, like. It worked for the time that it was in, too. And ever since Martin Lawrence had that fucking stroke or whatever he had when he was training for uh, Bad Boys 2, like, he's not the same dude. Like, I don't know if you've seen him do any stand-up recently. Like, he's not... Yeah, is he like Jim Ross? Isn't there another good? Bad Boys or no? <laughs> not that, he's just... Has he got a slobber knocker on the side of him? <laughs> it's just, you can tell that he's a step behind. Like, yeah. he's not all there yeah. ever since that shit happened. Like, he's and he didn't not... even get to Muhammad Ali greatness to be that way. Exactly. Huh. Uh, what about, um... I don't know. Any movies? No. When, when they be What's that movie, movie that I was, I was telling you about? The one uh, that Star Player Go, whatever the fuck, by Steven Spielberg. Oh Player yeah, one Player One Star. Player One Go. Yeah, that, that looks that looks good. That looks good. I'm gonna check, check that out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something new and fresh. But that that Hit. I believe is going to be a mind thing. I think there's gonna yeah. be some things it's in that. Silent. You know. I'm but sure again, that's... let's if we can if people can enjoy it. But unfortunately, like as soon as you go to enjoy it, there's a side story. I'm like. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I think anything with this one? yeah with, Did you notice that with Steven Spielberg, there's always some and, sort know, of there's a hint of something in the future, right? Yeah, like or they something have their, from the past. You know, I don't they know. They have their means history. in there. Mystery. Mystery. Speaking of the future needed. in the past, um, the students at Howard, they want to know what happened in the yeah. past to their their future. I thought that was an interesting story. You guys got to see the video. Um, you got to love when people come together and it, and it brings a smile to your face. The reason why this brought a smile to my face was because a million dollars in financial aid was stolen. Ooh. Well, I can't say stolen. It was... Um, redistributed. Redistributed, <laughs> yes. So the kid uh, uh, the kid uh, was said he needed the money for like mock trials, you know? Um, yeah. But basically it was uh, a million dollars that he basically took to himself, Range Rovers trips, fur coats, yep. uh, different yep. colors and everything. But the students all rallied in the financial aid center and were singing that uh, Rihanna song, Bitch Better Have My Money. Yep. And I mean, it was just classic, you know? Hmm. Um, wow. But, uh, <laughs> oh, and then there's the other, uh, the church. There was the, uh, God, where was it? Virginia, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, there was a guy uh, like six million dollars in church funds that he uh, uh, that he took. Wow. It's, it's crazy how you know what I'm saying the money just gets just wow. You know? And know then we all want to blame somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you end yeah. up blaming like an interest, the party, or or, or, or something. <laughs> Jackpot. Six million. Um, Do we talk about? Well, this was similar to the uh, the prison guy who who the the money for the inmates. You know what I'm saying? He ended up with like six hundred thousand dollars. And all he did was feed the uh, uh, the inmates grilled cheese, uh, uh, grilled cheese, and I didn't hear about butter, that. Go go into that. Mm. So. In states, the uh, the the lunch or the meal system is set up by the the the, the prison. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And the head of the prison will buy the food. He's got the food budget, so surplus money goes back to him, as opposed to maybe going back to you know what I'm saying where it came from, probably tax dollar. Instead of two um, sandwiches, Christ. he's buying one. And yeah, no, but saying like and you he's know, buying cheese product. Not <laughs> cheese. You know what I'm saying? He's buying cheese product slices. But like, but it happens on so many levels. I mean. We just had it uh, uh Nickel and years. Diamond. No, more than that. More than that, they're Franklin and Granton. Uh huh. So, you know, but it's got his business. Speaking of stealing money too, jackpotting is hitting uh the US and what that is is people hack ATMs and from a remote location they can press a button on their laptop and the uh Ch-ch-ch-ch- ATM empties. Out. But now so when you say so is it reference jackpotting because any random individual can be standing there when it happens or you know what I'm saying? Because I noticed you mentioned remote access, so they're yep. not by the ATM machine. No, because it would... Like, do you sit... Like, are they sent... Like, my question is, are they collecting... Or are yeah, they, like, yeah, kind of yeah. like a Robin Hood type thing? Yeah, like, no, you know? it's like, I yeah, wish, yeah, but yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's one of those... Need some anonymous shit like that. Yeah. you would most likely get caught if you're standing there with a laptop. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Button. So uh, it's kind of a, you know, they do a Batman and Robin thing where, hey, you're back there with their... Hey, be there, act like, holy shit, this is happening yeah. to me. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm taking this. Yeah, yeah. You know? But that's an interesting thing. And they were saying that it's been happening since the early 2000s, and it just hit the U.S., which is weird. That, uh, like, okay. People wouldn't be up, because we're usually up on the technology yeah. and stuff like that. So. Well, my first question would be, maybe we don't keep enough cash in our you know, ATMs for them to do it. Cause, um, yeah, because I'm sure when you get caught, you get Did they go into the technology and how it was done or no? Not in the article that I read, no. That's wild. 
But I mean, some sort of signal. I'm pulse. sure it's out there. You know, dark web. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. The beautiful uh, but, dark. But that web. that reminded me of uh, I used to jackpot back in um, uh, high school because um, I don't know if they still do this. If you, I mean, so rumor has it allegedly salt water oh, into the it? dollar dispenser in a vending machine will cause all of the change and all the sodas to start coming out. <laughs> so that's what I thought when I heard about jackpotting. I was like, oh yeah, we used to do that shit. Uh, yep. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. We used to jackpot the vending machines in college. Right, All think... that is pretty much just kicking it in the... <laughs> yeah. You kick the glass and it breaks yeah. and you just take all the stuff. Or, or, or every time we would come by at the end, if we got a car dealership, <laughs> just come by and be like, yeah, the customer's got something stuck in the machine. So you, give it yep. you, you just got it out because the customer had something. I remember after we broke all the vending machines, the next day they all had new ones but with cameras. Yep. And then like, you're on camera. Right. So no more jackpotting after that day. Right. Right. That'd be interesting. It'll be interesting, like, to see if it grows and to see, because you know how people um, assume technology and they learn uh, how to do stuff real quick. So it'll be interesting if maybe ATMs or ATMs become different. Yeah, know? maybe hmm. ATMs will be uh, be different. Who knows? Who knows? You know what we do know, though. It's a three piece and a biscuit coming at you right. live and direct. We'll record it actually. <laughs> For your blowing viewing record pleasure. It in. Watch later. Bars. That's right. What do you think? Anything else? No, what do we got coming up, I guess? I guess we're coming up in the hour mark, so anything to look forward to for next episode, next week? I would say episode anybody Katorse. out there looking for the cryptos, keep your head up. And if you got the Ooh, dough, it's a good time to buy. It might get a little lower. I think right now we're hitting the uh, 6700 mark. It might go down to the 5900 that if it goes that low, I don't know if it's going to go any lower, but if it does, get your dough, buy some more, Famous sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Famous words of NSYNC, bye, bye, bye. Crypto? <laughs> was it NSYNC or was it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It was. Boys Damn, NSYNC. I hit it. <laughs> Baby. But yeah, this is your boy, Cheddar Mike, signing out. No doubt. This is Lil Mattress at L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S. Don't forget to call the hotline, 203-941-0045. Talk some shit. Give some suggestions. If That's you right, need, If you need suggestions about something, Blank hey, sign. Man, we'll provide it. But, yeah, yeah, give a call. Drop some. Uh, if, you, if you just want a shout-out, we might do it. So, hook it up. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I am the Boogeyman. Mm. We out. Peace.